Yo, what is up? Today's August 2nd, sitting outside in Oklahoma. It's a beautiful day. And I wanted to make this video because today I purchased a new equity and I'm really excited about it. I don't often talk about equities on uh, this, this platform, but I'm really excited about this one and it is crypto related. I, as the title suggests, I'll be talking about Digital Galaxy, which is a crypto hedge fund slash aspirational merchant bank um, being headed up by a guy named Mike Novogratz. Um, and I'm just gonna talk in this video about why I decided to purchase um, some stock in Galaxy Digital and how I see things playing over time. The first reason that I invested in Galaxy Digital, and this is kind of something that I've talked about in previous videos, is, is betting on the, the jockey, not the horse. Mike Novogratz is his background, number one, he's a Princeton guy, so shout out there, but he is a veteran of Wall Street who wrestled at Princeton, served in the military, and when you look at this guy, you can just tell he's a fighter, right? Um, you can tell he has a tenacity. Um, you can see it in his eyes, really, and he previously worked for a company called Fortress. Um, my understanding is that venture might not have had the, the best ending and he, he walked away from Wall Street for a little while. Uh, you know, he's a, a macro investor and during his time at Fortress, he, he stumbled into Bitcoin, um, invested on it uh, off of instinct and his instincts were right. <laughs> so I think what, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at here is it's important, I like comeback kid stories and Novogratz strikes me as this type of guy who he's just gonna fight and it looks like he maybe has something to prove maybe has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder I think that goes a long way in terms of a jockey I like that um, and so that's the first reason why I invested in, in Galaxy Digital the second reason is is based off of my thesis surrounding the future of, of banking and crypto. I've made videos in the past where I talk about how I think that the business model of banks is broken. Um, I don't think it's something with these legacy institutions, the Goldman Sachs, the, the JP Morgans, that you can uh, fix overnight. I actually do think that there needs to be a radical reconstruction of the entire sort of organization. and. To that end, uh, Novogratz has talked about when describing Galaxy Fortress that he wants to build the Goldman Sachs of, you know, of the future, of crypto. And if my thesis on, on Bitcoin and crypto is correct, I think that some of the, the products and services and investments that have, have been clearly, you know, early on, Novogratz has shown he's able to pick some good winners. Um, he, he invested in, in Funfair many moons ago, which is one of the, I think, the top crypto projects. He's getting into the crypto and Bitcoin lending, um, crypto-backed loans, and I think that's going to be uh, a big thing in the future, um, Bitcoin collateralized, collateralized loans. He's a trading junkie too. Um, the, the company, although this last quarter uh, posted uh, net losses, I'm very confident that by quarter one of 2019 that they'll be more than, they'll definitely be profitable. I think some of the major reasons for their losses has just been the fact that the value of their assets have gone down since um, when they IPO'd in January. And so, yeah, yesterday uh, they opened up on the TSXV for trading. Um, they dropped 20%. And this gets to another reason why I decided to invest today is that in order to win in investing, you have to take a contrarian view. You can't just go with consensus. You have to fight against the grain. And the best time to buy is when there's blood in the streets. I think I've talked about this before um, with regard to Snapchat and EOS. Um, so yeah, I, I, I am a big believer in, in fighting against consensus because if you just go with, if you're, if you're doing what everyone else is thinking and you're thinking in the same way, you're not gonna make money because everyone is thinking the same. And so I think that probably the reason why we're seeing this big drop uh, of 20%, which for an equity is pretty big, um, it's not crypto, which is pretty routine, but 
I think the reason is because probably some of the early investors, the people who got in on the IPO, were people who were just trying to, you know, get their feet wet. They probably don't actually even hold any crypto, many of them, but they wanted exposure to this asset class, and they were probably really turned off by um, the the quarter postings. And for me, that's great because my thesis in this entire space is a long view, and it's you know a 10, 15 year horizon. Um, I do see a need for new types of institutions um, in at least the, what I mean, I guess, traditional banking, um, because I think the system has been broken for a long time. I think the bureaucracies of some of these legacy institutions are just going to be too slow to, to move and, and adopt and, and adapt, I'm sorry. And Novogratz seems like the type of guy who he has the background, he has, you know, clearly the foresight, um, but he has the tenacity as well. And yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I was able to get in at a dollar fifty basically uh, per per stock, so really good price in terms of, of U.S. dollars. Um, and I'm gonna ride it out. I'm you know, I'm gonna probably make some other buy-ins at at different levels. Um, but I'm taking a very long view on this company, and we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, very excited, and I just wanted to share with you guys um, my, my newest investment. So hopefully this was informational. Uh, check out Galaxy Digital. Learn more about the company. I actually couldn't even find a website. Um, so I, you know, I tried to look for a website. I was going to post it in the link or whatever uh, before this. But yeah, it, I also do a lot of instinctual investing. And my, my instincts in this one, it just says go for it, so I did. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about Galaxy Digital. Let me know what you think about um, basically anything I've said in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.